Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution. Turn to discuss integration by parts and go over a proof of this uh, method. Uh, basically, every differentiation rule has it has a corresponding integration rule. For instance, the substitution rule for integration corresponds to the chain rule for differentiation. And you should see my uh, video on the substitution rule where I basically proved the substitution rule for integration using the chain rule for differentiation. And now the rule that corresponds to the product rule for differentiation is called the integration by parts. Yeah, now the product rule states that if the functions f and g are differentiable, meaning you can take the derivative of them, then if you have the derivative of a product of the two, for example, d over dx of f of x times it by g of x, this would equal two by the product rule. This is gonna equal to f of x g prime of x plus, now we have a plus, this is gonna be f prime of x times g of x. So as you can see, this one was just gonna be addition of the two products, but in, in one case you'll have a derivative of g of x, other case derivative of f of x. Yeah, so now if we were to integrate both sides so that we write them as indefinite integrals, we'll have something like this, d over dx of f of x g of x and dx always at the end of an integral equals two now we integral on the right side f of x g prime of x dx plus integral here of f prime of x g of x dx and now when you have this uh, on the left side here is since integral is just an antiderivative, so antiderivative of a derivative is just going to be the inside function. So this would equal to f of x g of x equals 2. Now the integral on this side, yeah, we just write down the same side right there. g prime of x dx plus f prime of x g of x dx. Now in this case right here, uh, like when you take an integral, you always have to add a constant. But in this case, since we already have more integrals, and when you take those, there's going to be more constants. And when you add them up, you're just going to have a constant anyway. So we're just going to ignore the constant, which you have to do with a plus c, until later whenever you evaluate the integral. Then you have to add them. Uh, in, when you evaluate all the integrals, then you have to add the c. So now, what we could do here is basically develop now the integration rule by parts so we would look at this function right here and write everything in terms of this one here so we'll move this to the left side so we will have uh, integral of f of x g prime of x dx is equal to f of x uh, g of x minus integral of f prime of x g of x dx right here. So now this is the formula. So basically again it's just the corresponding rule. Rule we use the product rule and now we get when you take integral you get all of a sudden this uh, this is the formula for the integration by parts. Yeah and I've written that down right here. This is called the formula but for integration by parts and we just and basically that is the, the proof. It's just it's more of a, just to show how it corresponds to the product rule. So you just write it product rule and take the derivative, I mean the uh, integral. But we could also simplify this further to make it easier to uh, read and apply by using the substitution rule. So we let we let uh, basically u equals to f of x. So when we do that the derivative is going to be well du is going to equal to f prime of x dx. And now this is in terms of differentials we write it like that. And the reason for this is we could substitute this inside of this integral. And we also let v is equal to g of x. So dv is going to equal to uh, g prime of x dx. So now that we have these right now, we could just plug these in. So for this one, this f of x is going to be, or the formula for integration by parts is going to be now, 
this is going to be u, which is f of x. Now g of g prime of x times d of x, that's this part right here. So d v. So you have a u d v is going to equal to f of x times g of x or u times v. And now we subtract by this side right here. So there's a g of x there. That's a v. This f prime of x times dx. That is basically this right here, which is du. And that is our simplified uh, formula for integration by part. So uh, u dv, integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. And that's uh, pretty much uh, it, how it is. Uh, later video, I'll go over an example on this to make it a bit more clear. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learned from this video. Like always, you could download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math easy solution.